What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is I Do Tesla Stuff. I wanted to make a quick video about charging from home. If maybe you don't own a home or maybe you do, um, everyone's situation is different. But how to charge your Tesla if you don't have quick access to 240 volts or level 2 charging uh, in your garage or driveway. So I've got two Teslas, a uh, Tesla Model Y Long Range and a Tesla Model 3 Performance. And I have to charge both of these things, but I've only got 120 voltage uh, in the garage. Now that is doable. Um, I did do that for a few months, so it works. But if you're driving longer ranges for work, um, like for myself, I'm only driving about a mile and a half to work and back each day. So 120 volt works, but like if you're gonna go out, you know, hiking or something, or you're driving further away from your house, you want that thing to be charged up like pretty quick. You don't want it to be like plus 24 hours to charge. So I'm gonna show you what worked for me and how I got level two charging uh, outside of my garage into my garage without doing any major repairs to your house. Because like I said, maybe you're renting, your landlord doesn't want you drilling holes and running cable and doing all this stuff uh, through their place. So this is what worked for me here. Uh, I'm on a military uh, installation house, so I can't do any major repairs, but I'm gonna show you uh, how I charge both these Teslas with level two charging without 220 volts in the garage. So I'll show you my setup in just a second. All right, so back from the garage, we're gonna walk straight into the house from the garage. And fortunately, um, I've got my washer and dryer fairly close to the garage. Now, see this isn't close, but it's still on the same floor. Uh, the same concept would work. You would just have to get a longer uh, extension cord. So like I had that one down there, I was plugging directly into the dryer outlet and I'd run into the garage and then plug the Tesla charger into it. But this setup right here, uh, it's an Epony uh, split charger. Um, so I can run my dryer and it'll automatically shut off the EV charging so the dryer can run. So that way I'm not fiddling back here, having to unplug the dryer and driving my wife crazy because the dryer's not working. She has to go back there and screw with the plugs. Uh, so this thing does it for you automatically. It has built-in surge protection. Um, so you don't have to worry about like, oh, is it gonna start a fire or something crazy? Uh, it's got the surge protection in it and the top of the surge protector that's already in the dryer outlet. So super safe. Um, I got an RV uh, NEMA 1450 charger. Uh, I liked it because it has this quick handle because sometimes these are a little bit harder to pull off. So there's a charging handle on each side. I kind of just stow the other end in here and then I'll just run that right out to the garage and plug the Tesla uh, 1450 adapter right into there. And I usually get about 30 miles uh, of charge per hour. So pretty quick. Um, you know, if you, if you had 100% charge and went, you know, 300 plus miles, you know, you could still charge it in about 10 hours. So, but normally, you know, if you got 50, 60, 100 out, you know, 100 miles, you're going to be up and running in, in an hour or two. Uh, so, yeah, this is the dryer. Um, this plugs into the wall. The dryer plugs into this. And the Tesla charger uh, extension cord plugs into this. Now, I know some people are like, oh, don't plug a, an extension cord in your Tesla. But this thing's like twice as thick as the actual Tesla charger. So this is really thick cable. This is NEMA 1450. Um, but it's only uh, 1430 uh, capacity. So this cable is more robust than the current running through it. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you're, if you got a little dinky uh, extension cord, uh, that's where you're gonna run into risk, but this baby is stout. So we're gonna be able to charge up uh, with no problems here. So I just take this thing right here. Uh, when I need to charge, I'll kind of just run it through here, set it down there. And then I've got the NEMA 1450 adapter on my Tesla charger. So I'll just go ahead and plug that in real quick. Sorry, I'm holding the phone while I'm trying to plug this thing in. So it's not exactly easy, but there we go. Okay, so as you can see, we have power. Let's plug it into the Tesla. And these are already fully charged, but Yeah, and boom. So you can see in there, we're already complete. Uh, just another tip too, um, if you have a, a long range or performance Model 3 or Model Y, uh, you probably don't want to keep it charged past 80. Um, anything 80 or less is going to be better for the health of the battery. 
Um, you can go up if you're gonna head out on a road trip. You just don't want your car uh, sitting overnight, you know, with 100% charge. That kind of degrades the battery. Just like a cell phone, all right. And then the only, the only bad part is like, the door doesn't shut all the way, but you know, I've got a garage out there. If this was directly outside, you know, and it was extremely cold or extremely hot, that would probably be a problem. Um, but if that's the case, you could probably unscrew this and then the door would shut. And then maybe you could put one of those, uh, oh, what are they, like the foam mats under there to keep the heat or cold out or in, um, depending on which way your door opens. Um, but that's kind of my setup here if I need to charge quickly. And then, like I said, that just runs right through there. Got that wrapped around there and then right into the charger. Now, if I want to turn the dryer on, now it splits and I've got power to my dryer. I can turn that on. So we're good. We can run both at the same time without overloading um, the surge on there because this will split it automatically. Yeah. Got Buddy representing the Tesla shirt over here. Yeah, bud. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> good job, buddy. High five. High five. Yeah, all right. So that's my uh, charging setup here. Um, so you can run level two at least if you don't have 240 or 220 uh, out in your garage. All right, so that is my home charging setup. Uh, I got the splitter uh, for $199 on Amazon. And then the splitter uh, plugs into the wall. The dryer plugs into the splitter. And then you're also going to need an extension cord. Um, if you don't know how long you need, just grab a tape measure, you know, run it out there. Um, it might even be better to get, a, you know, five feet extra if you need to. Uh, this is a 15 foot 1450. Um, it was $59.99, I believe. I got it on Cyber Monday. I think they're $79 uh, right now as of 2 December 2023. Um, so this is kind of my setup currently. If you're like balling on a budget and you want to go straight budget mode, um, all you really need is just a uh, 1430 extension cord and this will plug directly into your dryer outlet and then you can just run that uh, right into the garage there and then you'll just have to change the plugs if you need to run the dryer in your house. That's the cheapest way to get level two. Um, I believe that cord was around between 39 and 49, it might have been 59, um, but you know, definitely a lot cheaper than $200 splitter thing here. Um, so if you're balling on a budget, want to get the extension cord, um, that would absolutely work too. It's going to work just as good. Um, this is just more convenient so you don't have to reach back there. Like my wife would really, uh, <laughs> I'd feel the wrath uh, if she had to go back there and unplug it each time she needed to use the dryer. Uh, so that's why I got the splitter. If it was just me, I'd probably just get the extension cord and run with that. Um, because of my job, I have lived in several locations uh, and had different charging setups. I've had a Tesla wall charger. I've just lived off of 120, uh, and now I've got this set up. So if you have questions about your setup and want to get level two charging in your place without having to do major repairs or call an electrician or any of that crazy stuff, I'll put that stuff in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer it. Um, or get, at least point you in the right direction to get you some, some factual information. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. I appreciate your viewership. If you liked it, um, please consider giving me a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next Tesla video. See you next time.